everyone welcome back so let me just do a quick recap this particular entire lesson is all about how to connect and express ourselves so in the first particular section that we saw it was about how to open a talk how should we start the conversation what all tools we need to use now another important factor is how to close the conversation how to end our speech or how to end our talk so now let us see and look at what are the techniques we should use what is it that we should avoid the most opening and closing are equally important it's not that just uh, you've opened a speech very well and now you want to close it soon fast so that you can just move out of the stage because the connect that you have built the express uh, the mind expression expression that you have done already to your audience now will get lost if you do not close it properly so it was at a peak and then you dropped your audience suddenly that is not what you should do you opened you took your audience to a peak brought down took them up but do not leave them so the end has to be really proper okay so that whatever your intent or objective or goal behind the entire talk conversation or speech was should be fulfilled now let's look at how you should be closing your talk okay so this is what we are going to see how to close a talk just read these statements and how do you feel when someone maybe has opened the speech really well and then he says he or she says so that is all about what i had to say i will now end my speech how often have you heard speakers telling like this or i will now stop my speech okay or they will say so to end this is what i have to say all right or they will say i want to say this to conclude my speech okay or they have stop they have entirely the speech is over and they'll just stand like this and assume that the audience have understood they have that they have ended their speech so these things uh kind of make you make your audience feel that this person doesn't know how to end a speech or we have not understood what you have said so just the way opening has to be really strong and important your closing also has to be such because you want them to either take some actions on to learn something okay or come back to you with questions if you do not end your talk or your speech in a note that they understand or in a language that they understand or you have framed your sentence properly you will lose the all the connect and expressions that you have built now let's look at what all we should be doing in order for us to end our talk now this is something that you have to avoid and this is something that many speakers do tend to do because they just maybe at times the nervousness is such even though we've taken care of that in our previous lesson that how to uh, get away with the communication apprehensions but still there is something i told you know during the speech also you have these apprehensions at the end you have it uh, most okay so you should your speech should not end such that it lacks smoothness okay hari bari mein you finished okay you should not do that lacks finish there is no smoothness you do not bring your speech to a conclusion with proper smoothness i'll give you examples in explaining this lacks finish so like there are speakers who would just after they have uh, given a statement they will end the audience will not be able to understand that the finishing is not proper no close means like every speech has some uh, point some objectives that closure does not come because you've not given that closure to your audience so the speech does not end, seem like ending or you all of a sudden you end your speech you were maybe in the middle portion of your speech maybe you're looking at the the clock ticking or time ticking and then it's okay i'll end my speech now so ceases suddenly i mean it stops suddenly or jerkily you just want to finish your speech just want to get away from the situation so something or the other you blabbered and then you left the stage this is something that you should all of these things you should avoid doing these are not signs of a seasoned speaker okay because now we are trying to develop the mindset of a seasoned speaker you will not become a seasoned speaker if you do any of these things so avoid you know stopping or ending your speech abruptly jerkily do not uh, use sentences which there are speakers i have seen when they end a sentence it seems like they will start another conversation or another speech so it should have a smooth finish it should look like as if you are finishing 
it should not uh, there should be an action that you you want your audience to take and it should have smoothness all of these things you will have to really keep in your mind if you want to end your speech nicely so that that connect that you have built stays for long next how do we do this okay so there are certain points here point number 1 summarizing restating outlining briefly the main points you have covered so you must have seen whenever i end any uh, section i do a recap i emphasize on important points because every speech every lecture every talk that you do has some purposes or had some main ideas main points that's why what you've learnt when you wanted to prepare for your speech so you will have to summarize all your points so that let's say the audience has not heard you completely but at least they will know the summary points summarization is very important restate anything that is important if you restate that okay restating restating means emphasizing on the same sentence twice more than once you should do a restating of whatever you have said the important points outlining briefly the main points so just like what summarization you have done summarization could be about the whole speech and then you can outline the main parts of your speech so that they know this is what the entire speech was all about so um, let let me go back to the example of rain water harvesting so you can say that or the or my friends whatever you want to address them with so let me restate and summarize whatever we have discussed so far rain water harvesting is one of the most important aspects if we want to conserve water the steps are then you just summarize the steps okay you you have a, a tank wherein the water falls and whatever you have described you do that and then you say i hope that when you go back home whenever it rains you will be able to conserve the rain water now you want to take them uh, make them take some action so summarization of points outlining the main ideas in your conclusion is very important and this appealing for action second point let them take when they know that okay there is an action that has been asked for us to take they know that this is what we have to do and the speech has ended so um let's say you are giving a knowledge and you don't want them to take any action as such but you're giving a knowledge on now spaceship you're talking about spaceship or any planet for that matter you don't want to them to go to a planet or design something what you want them to do is understand the concept very well so the the appeal for action could be my dear friends now that you have understood about jupiter and its structure please go back home and try to find out how will if possible someone survive in jupiter so you're giving them some uh, filler some uh, uh, last ending points which then okay this is something that i have to go back and do or if you want to literally make them take any action like you're talking about environment and uh, planting a tree or you know you want people to be following uh, the practice of planting a tree you can conclude your statement by saying that the best gift that you can give to anyone is a plant so my dear friends next time when you attend someone's birthday carry a pot with you so you are asking them to take an action and your speech was all about uh, saving trees and all that and you are you are emphasizing on something which is the action that they have to take which was all about your entire speech so when you end your speech with an appeal for action your audience knows this is what we have to do so okay all this time this is what you were saying or she was saying that we have to plant more and more trees and when you're gifting someone a tree that's also encouraging people that other person also to do the same thing so appeal for an action point number 3 paying the audience a sincere compliment you should always thank your audience for being such an awesome audience i was grateful and i'm really happy to be a part of this session and address such an awesome audience you all had been great audience that's it do not overdo it so when you are uh, complimenting an audience or when you are showing your gratitude towards them they feel good and they also know that the speech has ended so you can end with a compliment also if you don't want to uh, want them to take any actions you can end your speech with a by saying them that, that it's it's an opportunity that you had got and you're happy that you are addressing them or you had addressed them so you can give them a compliment just like you can start with a humorous uh, line or a humorous story again with a caveat you can end with a laughing line now this is something that needs lot of practice so i would 
ask you at this juncture to avoid this, but you can also ra uh, end a speech by raising a laugh. So let them, you know, end, uh, go back home with a very filled light heart that, okay, uh, I am now very elated. I've got something which, is very, which was very nice. And the end was very funny. It was not funny as in uh, funny in a wronger side, but in a, in, in a wrong, wrong manner, but end that has taken place with a positive note, a nice humorous tone you can use. But this again, only if you can manage to do this. Otherwise, just the way you have started and it fell flat on, its, on your face. Likewise, the ending too can fall flat on your face. This you can do by quoting a, a fitting verse of poetry. Let's say you're talking about beautiful things. Okay, in your speech, you're mentioning beautiful things. You can say at the end, a thing of beauty is a joy forever. So you're quoting something from a poem. And when you quote this from a, uh, from a poetry or a poem, automatically your audience knows, okay, so it's all about beauty and all that beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder. Okay, so thing of beauty is a joy forever. Whenever you see something beautiful around you, it gives you a lot of happiness. So you can end your speech by using a line from a poem or a fitting uh, verse of any poetry. But then this also requires a lot of knowledge. So you have to keep on searching for fitting uh, verses of poems which suit or which fits your speech. Okay, Using a biblic uh, biblical quotation is about using something from your religious books okay now it doesn't have to be like let's say i can i will only talk about uh, gita or bible or whatever Th these learnings are common all books teach the same thing so you can take something again with caution let your audience not feel okay he's he's maybe promoting his own religion no you need not say from where you've picked it up but then the 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 quotation or the the verse or the line that you've taken from any sp any holy book should be the learning, not from where it has come. Okay, so you can pick up some line from some holy book also, irrespective of your faith, your belief, your religion, you can pick it up. And do not let your audience know from where it has been picked up. Again, that is a never ending discussion. Okay, do this if you feel that it's not going to bounce back on you. Use a biblical quotation from some holy book or from some religious book if you think it has relevance to your topic or your speech. And you can start building a climax, so a proper end to your speech is when you make them realize this is the end. Like in your, uh, when we were children, when we were young, we used to listen to these uh, princes and prince story, you know, and they lived happily ever after. So likewise, I'm just, this is just an example, but when you bring a climax, and it, it can only happen if it's in a storytelling mode. So you can say that finally, the, the faith in humanity was restored. So when you when you end your speech with these kind of statements, that is how you build a climax. So all these points, you you can pick and choose one. You cannot use all of these. You can choose any of these points to end your speech. So what do you have to do? Summarize, reinstate, emphasize on the main points, or you can appeal for an action. Okay. You can uh, compliment your audience. You can raise a laugh with caution. Quote a verse from a poem or from a biblical quotation. And finally, you can end by saying, by giving it a story format that, you know, happily ever after, whatever you want to do. So when you use any of these techniques, you, are, you're, you come to a closure and you make your audience understand that the speech has ended. So the connection that you have built continues and you will see the moment the speech end, ends and the entire program ends, they will come back to you, okay? In the water cooler conversation or in the coffee break conversation, they'll come to you and they'll ask questions to you. That is how you build your connect with your audience, by taking a proper measure to come to a proper closure. So this was all about closing a talk or closing a speech. Now we will look forward in our subsequent sections on what else we should do to build that connect or express ourselves to our audience. So see you on the other side. Keep watching. Thank you.